Welcome to Heartland Dual Sport. In today's video, we got some fun stuff coming up, guys. I'm gonna, I've got a new product I want to share with you. I think could be a game changer, especially for all you guys on the KLR. And then also, we're gonna talk about what's been going on the last couple of weeks and why I missed Thursday's upload. So let's get to the video. Again, if you're new to the channel, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Dale, and I'll be your host here on Heartland Dual Sport. In today's video, we'll start out with topic number one, and this is going to be more like a show and tell video. I'm not actually doing a review on it. A review will come after I've had some time on using the product. But if you look right over here, this is a new phone holder, and the company's name is Joy Room. I'll put a link in the description down below to where you can get one, but I think it's only like $20, $25. It does have some anti-vibration stuff built into it, and it also, it's metal. It's made out of aluminum. You can see this is the iPhone 13 Plus over here, and it's actually, this thing is way sturdier than I thought it would be. When I seen, uh, actually, when I was contacted by the company, I looked at it online and I was like, yeah, that'd be something I'd be interested in simply because it's affordable. And everybody knows if you're on a KLR, the cheapest thing on that bike is generally the rider. <laughs> so we, we like to keep our products affordable, but I also want to make sure it's going to work. And I'm never going to recommend junk to you guys, but so far I can tell you, I'm impressed with this, how sturdy it is, especially considering that it'll hold the bigger phones. This top piece up here and the bottom piece are adjustable, and then these side clamps, you can actually smash them in. There's a button on the back when you get ready to take the phone off that will release the pressure off of them. So if you notice, I don't have the X, like on the X grip, I'd use these rubber deals to ensure the phone didn't fall off. Now here's the downside guys, what I can tell you is, you guys remember my X lock used to be mounted right here, and that was when I first got the bike, and then you started hearing people say, hey, don't, don't use your phone mount on these KLRs because the vibration could destroy your phone, the camera. I was like, ah, that's nonsense. I've been riding all over the United States with mine. I ain't got any problems. My phone takes great pictures. Well, here's what I discovered. It takes great pictures. Whoa, look at the squirrel. <laughs> it takes great pictures as long as you don't try to zoom in. But on video or the camera, if you try to use the zoom, it's real wonky. And I don't know, guys. That's just... I'm sure it's the vibration. So I won't be able to tell you for certain if this thing would save your phone because mine's already jacked up and I can't afford to buy a new one. All right, next up. Guys, I want to apologize that I didn't have a video post up Thursday. I haven't really mentioned it because I don't talk about it much. But I've been teaching a Sunday school class all summer long and that's part of the reason I didn't go out of town aside from budgetary issues, but that's part of the reason I didn't take a long trip is I signed up to be a leader for a class that was going to take 12 weeks to get through it. We're wrapping that up right now. We've got this Sunday evening and one more Sunday evening left, and then we will be done. And that's, we've had so much going on. I'm also making little leather gifts for everybody that's in the class, and I'll, I'll show a picture of that as well. But my wife and I have really been working hard on that class, and I simply ran out of time this last week. And I was hoping to go get, it, get out last Wednesday. The weather's cooling off. It's finally better to ride. But I went and talked to the elders of the church about a potentially leading another class that would be a follow-up to the one I've been teaching 
And if I do do that, that'll end up going through the phone. And I'll tell you straight up, what I'm trying to do is find somebody to co-teach it with me because I don't want to... Uh, man, that'd be a lot to do for a whole nother nine months, basically. So, anyhow, that's that's what took so long. That's why I wasn't there Thursday, and I apologize about that, guys. And again, this video, we're just going to kind of keep it short. I wanted to do an introduction on the Joy Room phone, phone holder. Again, I'll put a link down below. And guys, I'll be straight up, and, and I did not buy this. They reached out to me, asked me if I'd be interested in doing a video on them. I said, absolutely. And I told them the same thing I tell everybody. I generally do two videos. If you send me something, I'm going to do what I'd call a show and tell Monday video and then I'm going to do more of an in-depth review video after I've had it for a while say three to six months or something like that and with us rolling up into the fall time weather I ought to be able to have a good good review because I'll be riding a lot between now and Christmas since it's not going to be a hundred plus degrees out guys I'm not going to lie that hundred and something degree temperatures were killing me and I'm thankful to be riding around this morning I don't know what the temperature is this morning but if I was to speculate we're in the I don't know what the temperature is but I'd speculate we're in the low to mid 70s something like that again guys if you like our video give us a big thumbs up we appreciate your likes comments and subscribes may you have a blessed week and let's go ride <laughs>